Welcome to warrior class. Where the teachers will pass. And you will too if you pass. Now this here is how not to get stole on, snuck, or uh, what do you call it? Sucker punched. There you go. Right. So stole on. That's what we say uh, like in Chicago. I asked my wife, what do they say down here? And she said they say stole on too. Oh, yeah. You got stole on. Now, when I asked my daughter, who's 13, she didn't know she never heard stole on. Oh, no. That ain't nothing. So they, they, they say snuck. Yeah. I was going to say snuck. snuck. Yeah, they say snuck. And uh, sucker punch, I mean, that's just Everybody what it is. is. Everybody knows sucker, sucker punch. punch. But he snuck me. Right. He snuck me. They know it. Most black folks are saying, I got sucker punch. No. Now we, I got stole, man. The name I got of a stole movie on. Featured a, a white woman. Uh, oh, taking off on. Now I've heard that before too. But taking off, you mm -hmm. ain't necessarily got to steal on the mother. Nah, nah, you're like, yeah, what? Yeah. what you, you know, yeah, you yeah. took yeah, off you on. Took off on. That's different. Right. That's different. You, you, you taking off on folks like that. Right. Yeah. Don't be taking off on them, Eugene. Now, I know your children get on your nerve. Don't take off on them. Don't take off. On them. <laughs> now you can steal on your children. Oh yeah, because nobody on. know. Yeah, like, ah, I got you. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, y'all thought I ain't see you. So you can steal on your children, but don't don't take off on them. So uh, uh, peace and black power. Peace, 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 everybody, and peace to y'all yeah, uh Peace and black power. I've missed the past couple of weeks. Been traveling. Thanks for the cane training. Oh yeah, I heard yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm man, gonna take the know. time out and share our broadcast. With, uh, with my social media family, I would encourage everyone else to, to do this. Yes, please share, uh, mash that like button because mm -hmm. you know it's going to be hot today. And uh, and uh, share yeah. and subscribe and donate. Yeah. <laughs> donate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and buy us donuts. But make, sure they, <laughs> make, sure they, make sure they're vegan donuts. Mm -hmm. And then you gotta go to Revolution Donuts. Yeah, Revolution uh, Revolution yeah, Donuts yeah. is good. Although it's questionable because Revolution now that's uh now that's another one that's black on um Revolution Black. No, no. Uh, oh my oh, god, Sublime. Dude, what am I saying? Sublime. Vegan Supreme. Go to yeah, Vegan Supreme, Supreme yes, Donuts. That's yes. that's vegan. Because I can say Revolution and sells Revolution sells maple yeah. bacon donuts. <laughs> I, I don't think that's vegan. Yeah, maple bacon. No, all of them aren't. But most of them are. At Revolution too? Oh, okay. Yeah. Maple. So it's maple bacon. So it's, it's maple. Is Revolution, I, I is Revolution is black on? No. no. And they're called Revolution. Yeah. Let's, let's stop talking about this. <laughs> let's just leave them out. I'm sorry. Well, they, 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 didn't say, they didn't say revolutionary. <laughs> they said Revolution. Drink vegan Supreme in the West End. That's where you go for your vegan donuts. Okay. For your okay. black owned vegan donuts. He also has great sorrel. And if you want, if you want, uh, uh great alcohol black alcohol uh so you uh come to be oh yeah and on sundays because at first they didn't allow they didn't sell alcohol here in georgia for right. years on sunday so we right. we set up a thing where we would sell you know high-end top shelf alcohol <laughs> um so what you do is cash out it's cash out belay alcohol it's called belay's bootleg, bootleg boot, right, right. <laughs> belay's bootleg cash out that <laughs> now don't do that because yeah, somebody do right now is setting up a a, a belay right. belay bootleg cash app. It's, and and uh, don't nobody in the chat say they remember me from ten years ago bootlegging because you don't. <laughs> I was not doing that. Now it's crazy that people had the bootleg up here. There was a lady and uh, a friend of mine used to go to it. I won't name the friend because what happened. But on Sundays he would go to this lady and He's get his, his his alcohol. On Sundays, on Sundays. He, would, he would go to this lady's house mm. and she would sell the alcohol on Sundays. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I used to listen. Yeah. Great. I mean, we would go to the restaurants too. That, that restaurants made big money on Sundays because listen, you, know, you could drink. Restaurants could sell alcohol, but you couldn't, stores couldn't. I did bootleg about 10 years ago. First of all, I'm gonna tell you on Sundays, I stayed, I stayed in, the, in the hood and I bootleg. Let me tell you, I stopped very quickly. You should have you should have made your own shine. I stopped very I'm from North Carolina, I got to do that too. But let me tell you, <laughs> the reason why I would not do that and the why and the reason why I stopped is because I realized very quickly that alcoholism is a different animal. It's not like weed smoking and stuff like that. It's different. People people are sick, you know what I'm saying? Mm. They will come to your I don't 
how crazy I look. I can have a good. They will come to your house at five in the morning for one beer. You know what I'm saying? Frothing at the mouth. You know some jacked up. They, they, man, let me get one of them, uh, them, uh, them uh, ice houses. Ooh, why you even want that at five and six in the morning? That's why you want that at, at <laughs> 10 at night. Ice house is gross. Look. And it's cheap. That's why I, I bootleg it. But, ah. no, but uh, yeah, man, that alcoholism, man, it's, it's, it's bad, man. I, I said, no, I can't do this. People look like they, they need that bill, boy. And if y'all going to send me alcohol, send me cream liqueur. Vegan cream liqueur. Yes, no, it ain't got to be vegan. <laughs> if it's cream, of course, I'm asking I don't care. Vegan for him. But, <laughs> but we need a black owned creme liqueur uh, company. And if you know of one, because they may yeah, be one, maybe please comment below. Yes, because I have yet to see that. Now, we've, we've got our um, we got we got Uncle Nearest, we got liqueur, we've got uh, whiskey, we've got cognac, uh, cognac, we've got wine, but, but no, creme liqueur, I haven't seen it black. So yeah, if it is, let us know. This yeah, is wow. something. Also, what I was talking about sharing our broadcast, just so you know, you can copy the the link, which I'm doing now for the first time, and putting it in put it in the chat that you may be in where people will be talking, you know, this type of talk. You got a chat in your Facebook chat or your Twitter chat or your whatever chat, you can drop our link in there also. I'm sending one now to because you know, people are uh, sending me links, I'm sending them back some links. Uh, Iapo beneath the shining jewel will not fall apart in the third act, it mm -hmm. won't fail you. Uh, you'll see. Ask them about the movie, Bob. Did anybody see the movie that you was talking about? Which, Is it really garbage? Which one? This movie, this oh, movie oh, garbage. oh, if you have seen uh, was Blade of the 47 47 Ronin, that sounds um, a friend of mine posted. That it's so bad you can't <laughs> stop watching it, and he got about thirty comments, and they all were saying it's bad. I was gonna watch it. I'm not a big fan of martial art movies, but I was gonna watch that one uh, to see what it was about. But you know, if it's if it's garbage, mm. I don't want to waste my time. Let me know. Me if Especially if it's it. so garbage, I can't stop watching it. Then I'm gonna be mad that I yeah, can't those, stop. Those those one that that are so much garbage, you can't stop watching. You watch it <laughs> cracking up, it's ridiculous. And then at the end, you say, I, I just wasted years, you know. I mean, months, not not, <laughs> well, not months, it feels like months <laughs> you, you wasted a couple hours watching this damn film, you, can't you, know? get it back. you, can't, and you get can't get it back. All right, uh, I was told to stay undefeated is to get off first, uh, in a fight. That's not necessarily so. So just because you got off first doesn't mean that you knocked the person out. Right. Now, if you get off. And you keep on tearing that ass up. No, you don't no. let them recover. But if you just get off, boom, you knock them down, and then you stand up, get up, chump. Well, you you may lose that engagement. So right. it's right. getting you off and them in some kind of way. right. Now, get off and keep going. Right now, you may you, you your chances may increase if you get off first. Yes. But there have been boxers, there have been boxers who got off first, knocked the person down, and then they right. turn around and start celebrating too early. Oh my goodness. And then get knocked out. MMA off it happens in MMA often. Knock the person down and it then the ancestor said, Why the woman don't talk that much? Oh, because she's actually a robot. And uh <laughs> we program so when it's time to talk, we boop, and then she she speaks. Now, first of all, the woman has a name, her name is Ominique. <laughs> And uh, she's not talking that much, not because she grew up, <laughs> but uh, she talks. So you know what My I think? My name is Amaniki, and I talk. <laughs> you know what I thought about, though? Because um, I, I have thought about this. We, we, You know, I was like, you know, Amaniki don't talk a whole lot during the show. It's not like she's a very, very loud, talkative person when the camera right. cut off. You know what I'm saying? But I think it has, it's almost like our order of rank. You know what I'm saying? Because... We speak off experience in class a lot, and sometimes. Um, so I think I think it's more our personality because that I, too, I mean I, I, I've always been a big ass talker, but I will say when Ominiki first came to class, I'd be like, "What?" So she speaks because she would say, oh she would say, <laughs> and I say, "What in the world?" And she say. I said, how are you doing, Baba? I thought she was because it was so low. And I said, I didn't think I'd ever meet somebody who talked lower than my wife. But now she talks louder than my wife. She talks like 
My wife has to. Why I gotta be shabba dabba do? <laughs> That's what it sounded like because it was so low. So she would say, "How you doing, Baba? How are you doing, Baba?" But, oh my goodness. but it seemed like her mouth said a million things. So it was shabba dabba do. But when I say like that, when I say ring, I actually mean like sometimes. Like I don't, I I was just thinking about this. I know we were live while we were talking about this. I was thinking about this before. I don't think sometimes that that even Amaniki realized how much she has to offer. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, because after after class, sometimes I thought just right here she'd be like, you know what? I was I posted. I should have mentioned about blah, blah. So I think that's I think that's a lot of, in our personalities because she's like so kind of quiet. She allows us to go on our tangents. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I want to talk about Kanye all the time. <laughs> no, no, yeah. no, that's not what y'all want to talk no, about. That's not true. She does not, not want to talk not about Kanye. Yeah. Related, so I just got yeah damn, damn word class. <laughs> yeah, Kanye. Now, so so you all know, we're not like, uh, you know, before it starts now. Shit! <laughs> it's a mad world. We we, <laughs> we 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 don't do that. I know folks would love Tell that to we be don't the, do that. <laughs> <laughs> folks would love for that to be the case, but it's not the case. I remember. So two things happened. It, it shifted. First, when I first got with my wife, oh, my Muzz were like, um, you know, um, would it be okay if your wife uh, comes to dinner with us? So I'm like, what? what? <laughs> uh, why you asking me? Huh? Well, well this these be sisters. Oh, so okay. Is it okay? I'm like, is it okay? What the hell? Uh, ask her. <laughs> I don't know. So that that was at first. I'm like, what y'all think I'm Spengali or something? But then <laughs> after that, there was a sister said called me. Uh, she's a teacher, you know, elder. She, she said, I would like to speak to you, you know. Away from your wife, because I know she may not give you permission to speak. But I started laughing. I said, what, 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 what do you mean? I said, what are we doing? In the way she talked, I said, oh, so you think I'm henpecked because I don't say much around y'all. Right. I said, I don't know y'all, so I'm watching you all. Just so you know, I said, that's how I move. Right. I said, uh, nah, you got the wrong one. So people have these, they always make these opinions. Mm, right. and, and you all shouldn't do that. When you see people quiet. When you make certain opinions, you, you, you're telling more about yourself yeah, bro. than about that person. If you think, so this sister who thought I was, you know, henpecked, she's the type who henpecked her husband. Right. Exactly. But that ain't my goddamn history. Also, people think, you know, that that woman suppressed. She, she's not allowed to speak. She's not allowed to and go not out. She's not allowed. Think, I, just I'm, I'm just giving reason. you. Yeah. So that that's wrong. Perhaps that's how folks handle or what you their in situation, the their relationship, or right. seeing that maybe their mother went through that or, or whatever. But that's your story ain't everybody's story. That's for all of us to remember that. Your story and your pain and your pleasures are not everybody's, you know. I, I would listen to people like you know talking about they went through this, their father wasn't there, and but and everybody just mad at their father and they, they looked at me. I'm father. like, man, my father was 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 in my life. I'm I'm sorry. I, that ain't my story. I'm glad you and I'm not gonna lie and tell that story to fit in with somebody. Like I went through the pain of my daddy not right. being there. I feel for you if your your daddy wasn't there. That ain't my story. That, that's not my history. And, and 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 perhaps your daddy wasn't there for a reason that you don't know. And if you get out of the emotion of it, you might realize something else. Okay. Or you might realize it's exactly what you thought it was. But at least if you look at it from a uh, non-emotional sense, then you understand. This is relevant to what's going on because usually when we get stole on too, we have an emotional response. Mm -hmm. And that causes us to make fatal mistakes. 
don't get so emotional. I, I, I tell my students all the time, I tell my wife, you know, black folk, we're the most emotional folks on the planet. But, and that's that's good, but it, it's, it's not good when it's at the wrong time. Right, that bad quality to use at the wrong time. It's like it's shit. It's, 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 there are certain times to be analytical, not to be emotional, right? And in this social media area, everybody just on emotion. Right. They don't even finish like somebody writing something. They don't. One, we got a little attention span. They don't finish reading the whole sentence. Sound bite. And they just get mad at something that's said in there. Right. It's, a, it's a sound by error. So, and and it's not good, man, but it's good for me because I know it's easy to move my opponents the way I want them to move, most of them. I mean, mean, if I'm dealing with high level opponents, they're not gonna get moved like that. But most of the fools out here, if they trying to cause animosity, oh, it's easy to to, to manipulate and move them. You know, I have people uh, hit me up, talking about, you know, they're gonna come to my school with my ass and all that kind of stuff. And I just laugh, and then I start pushing their buttons. They're not going to come. I realize that. Now. But let me ruin their day. <laughs> I, I told them, like, they're not coming to the school. They, they get, if they were coming to the school, they wouldn't be writing about coming to the school. <laughs> some some people get a weird pleasure of you arguing back and forth with them. I remember the, and when I was in college. I had to learn. This. And I said, dude, are you, are you digging on me or something? Because <laughs> why do you want to have this? Argument with me, this, uh, contrary. Like we ain't right. We ain't, we ain't we ain't we ain't married and won't be because you know I, I'm, I'm a straight male. I, I'm not gonna be married with no dude, mm-hmm. so I'm not gonna even do the things that married couples do with no dude. So he looks at my. I had posters on my wall uh, when, when I was at Howard, and he looks on the wall. He says, uh, uh, "Yeah, uh, Clint Eastwood, hella big." I had a picture of Clint Eastwood up there. That, I would go dark set. Uh, fuck Clint Eastwood. So, so uh, his racist ass. So um, he said, Clint Eastwood, hella big. I said, Clint Eastwood is thin. He hella big. He as big as Stallone. I said, and Stallone was was just in the Stallone show, but he's, he's big because he's a steroid monster, right? He was, and yes, there was Stallone on steroids. That's not conjecture. So Stallone was in his movie at the time called Scorpion. So he brings him up. I said, Clint Eastwood is, is taller than, but he's nowhere near as muscular and big as Stallone. What are you talking about? He said, oh, yes, he is. I said, dude, I'm not getting in, <laughs> into it with you. Right. Here you go again. Get your ass out of my room. Get out. Get out. Huh, what? He was, he was pissed that I wouldn't argue with him. I ain't got time. I ain't got time for that kind of job. It's a student that you know loves to bring. He 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 loves to bring up Eminem is the best rapper there is because he know that pisses me off, <laughs> right? But that, that, that's that's strange. <laughs> you want to have an argument with a, a another grown man? Come on, man, that's weird. Something else. It's contrary, and, and and he may watch the show. I don't care because he knows I've said it to him. That's weird. That's weird, but I understand you think that's a relationship you have with the person you've taken as a father figure, but it's not. I wasn't trying to be arguing with my father and my son. I wasn't gonna be having now. We've had debates, I've had debates with my son, and, and it, it gets fun because he 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 says J. Cole and uh right, right and uh right, what's right. the other one? Kendrick Lamar are the, are the best rappers. I said, son, get out of here. I said, You you know. He said, well, I, I know, you know I know music, Dad. I said, yeah, I know. You, you, you got it from me. You got it from me. You wrote a whole report on that, how I, I affected all you and your siblings' music choices because I got an eclectic music taste, right? I said, but it, it stops at, at hip-hop, at rap. I said, Kendrick Lamar is good, and so is J. Cole. They're great, but they're not the greatest rappers Ever, but at least he ain't saying Eminem. Jared Ball, okay, Dr. Jared Ball. And, oh, Jared, oh, oh, well, well, Jared's gonna say, let me see, is he? Feral God, Mont- there it is, Feral Mont- 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 Mont-
this is the thing about these type of conversations. But he's not the dopest. Lead, lead to what Baba was just talking about earlier. I feel you, Dr. Bob. We are the most emotional <laughs> people. And we can't distinguish our opinions from facts. When you're having a debate about music, this debate right here, it should be fun for you. But you should realize ain't no facts in what we're talking about. For me, the, for me to say, I don't right, care who I opinion. say is the best, KRS one or whoever right, you it's say. Opinion. Right. This is opinion. Right. And our you problem walk is away with a feeling in your right. chest about the now, we, we the kind of people that stop dealing with each other. <laughs> now we what, stop dealing with well, each what other. What I what I did with my son, we I said, right. check out, check out Moo Moo Fresh. <laughs> he said, All right, right now. So he types in Moo Moo Fresh and it comes up on in his car, right? right. And he said, he stops. <laughs> he said, "Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, she, she up there, right?" It does, I know, said, she... "I said." So it gave me a chance to educate him on somebody he didn't know about, right? You know, um, I have favorite rappers, but I, 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 I wouldn't say none are the best. Now, I would say, uh, and, and people debate it, but catalog wise. Um, if you talk about, because some people think Jay Z is the absolute best, I, I think Jay Z is great, but I think Lil Wayne catalog wise can go can go toe to toe with with Jay Z. Yeah, and them two what, together you know, for is yeah. I don't think neither one of them are the best. But, they might be uh, best rappers, but not MCs. I don't think they're the best rappers. I, mean, I, I, I do think Curl Monch is up who, there. Curl Monch is up there, but Phil Monch is up there. I what I prefer though. I prefer Kim. Uh, I about to say Kimbo uh, Slice because that's what he calls himself. Sean Price, Sean Price Kimbo Price. He that's said my what he said. Right so that that Sean Price. We I love, have to talk I love about this. We have to have this. We have to have this show. Oh yeah, we gotta have this show. And we. Well, I love me some Sean Price. I just hate the way he left it. And we gotta have. We want the audience to to, to, to chime in on on our our top. 10 rappers, matter of fact, yeah. and my favorite, not, 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 and I think y'all know my, my favorite rapper. I don't know if I've ever said it, but I've said it to you personally is DMX, yeah, because I, I, the songs he makes, I don't think he lived those all that what he said, but a lot of what he says in his songs, I can totally, uh, I can totally relate to. When he said, and, and X gonna give it to him, he says, knock, knock, open up the door is real. It's a nine shot, pop, pop, the stainless steel. I can understand that and I won't explain why, <laughs> why, why, why. But I can understand that clearly and relate to that, right? When I, when I heard X gonna give it to I, I play that probably at least twice a month. Just because when I'm feeling a certain way, and that's nostalgic. why you like an artist most of the time you identify with, and that's why you nostalgic. Some... And Sean Price, whoo man, I, I not uh, DMA's one of it. We definitely have to do a top 10 right. and a uh, song. And what, what do how we categorize it? Because Bingo, Dr. Ball, what do you say? Ski mask for it, baby. <laughs> Coogee Rap was great. Coogee yeah. Rap. He also had Coogee done, Rap. Oh my God! Yeah, he's done a top ten fighters. Huh? He asked if we've done a top ten fighters. Uh, you know what? We haven't. We have. We not. need to do that. Now, we, we, what? what now, as far as fighters on the street, or if you're yeah. talking, now you're talking that, about professional come fighters, come on, homeboy Katimi from around the way. Nobody. Will, I'm saying. It. Hey, that was a that was a dude in Chicago that everybody say I look like, right? And I can agree. He's he's much older than me. They said, man, you know, China Joe, they call him China Joe. It's not very <laughs> right. That's what they call him. China Joe just got out of jail. Man, you know, is that your 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 your, your uncle? Or? I'm like, no, it's man, you look just like China Joe. Everybody said that. China Joe, when he got out, he was extorting Arabs, making them give up money with no gun or anything. That's how nasty he was with his hands. Wow. China Joe was not. When he got locked up, he was nasty. And while in there, he got nasty with his hands. So that's China Joe. I said, mm -hmm. but me and China Joe, you know, we, we met and uh, he was humble because the person was, they said, China Joe, this this, this is the one person, uh, he looked like you, but he, he can give you the business with them hands. And I said, hey, you know, because China Joe is about 20 years older than me. Mm -hmm. 
I said, I, I should be able to get in the business with, with these men. <laughs> Except my daddy, you know what I mean? <laughs> and, you know, and, and, and that's my daddy, you know, before he transitioned. I get in the business too. No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm, I'm just joking, Dad. Dad, all right. So yeah, yeah, that that would have had to be some still, but um, we definitely have to do that. We have to do like the top, top ten fight. fighters. So they have to be with boxers between boxers and. Well, well, MMA. We, 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 well, we do a split: boxers, five boxers, five uh, MMA. kick boxers, MMA. Okay. We did something, but it wasn't nothing like that. We just went. No, we we we, we, talk we, we talked about who who, who could be, beat who. who. We did the comparison, and, and we did the comparison. Oh, you know, Breakfast Club against yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, against yeah. Remix right, Morning right. Show. But we yeah. did our own top. We did top. Excuse me, movies. I think martial arts movies or yeah. whatever. We did not. Do now that on the uh, when we compare Remix Morning Show against uh, Breakfast, Club. Breakfast, Club, Breakfast Club, Remix Morning Show won. Yeah, they did. Um. Y'all beat you all's counterparts except uh Kamal. Kamal got knocked out. I think what was it Angela Yee? No, I went. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> and Angela Yee was against uh, uh against uh, Jackie Luke and and, and uh, Kim. We played out. She was late, man. <laughs> you, you have looked out for me, so I'm now now ear doctor. We had him go against <laughs> against uh, DJ Envy, and he won. Okay. Okay. I don't, I don't no. know. But y'all said MB trains, right? Yeah, MB does train okay. boxing. He looked like he uh, uh but 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 Air Doctor, doctor, you know, I think he gave him the business. He's just, you know. Jerry, we don't exactly remember what who you was up against. I think he was against Charlemagne. He gave Charlemagne the business. Yeah, I think oh, he did. Yeah. 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 yeah he gave Charlemagne the business. You had a weapon, you had a tool. No, all you got to do is just, just make Charlemagne sweat and all that damn eyeliner to get him <laughs> Charlemagne's eye. He wouldn't be able to see. And then he just whooped his ass. It's funny because there's a um, there's a but but you 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 whoop Charlemagne. There's a video of Charlemagne from ten years ago going around on the internet now talking about Jewish people. It's it's real. Oh funny. really? You know because he was on a did the thing about Christ, mm-hmm. so that's funny. I want to see how he responded to that. Mm, very Made interesting. <laughs> very interesting. So all right. So before we get into this, um, real quick, I just want to say this: watch out for these, and this is totally. Maybe not can probably be connected. I don't I don't know how it's connected, but I meant to say this before we started. Pro black pages on social media. You cannot be pro black or revolutionary if you are the opposite, anti the opposite sex. I don't know what's going on, but I'm seeing a rise of pages and dedicated podcasts, <laughs> dedicated. Um, and people are promoting it, and I don't understand that. So if you're gonna call yourself pro-black or revolutionary, don't subscribe to these pages and don't follow it. Whoever it may be, if it's a woman's page and she's talking constantly negative about the man, if it's a man page and he's talking constantly negative about the woman, yeah, just don't take part in that type of stuff. I'm sorry. I've just been seeing it lately and it's frustrating because I go to a page. I'm like, oh, this brother got some knowledge. So I come, I say, man, I'm glad I found your page. Two weeks later, I, I started to say, wait a minute. He got this hashtag called single baby mama culture, which, okay, I can understand it. That is an issue. That's a problem. But he's making it like it's the black woman's problem. And I comment, and this bunch of people get on there. We tired of the black woman. We, you know what I'm saying? You can have a blood. I said, what, what y'all so, planning on doing? Okay, so this, <laughs> this one, some, some of these folks are ops. But, but, but two, um, I said earlier, and it does connect. I said earlier, a lot of times we get too emotional. And so you were hurt by a sister. Because probably because you ain't got no game. You and so your much. punk ass now is mad at all sisters. But we'll talk about sisters generalize. But, but we are too when we do that. This one brother was talking about sisters, you know, this and this and this and this. A, a dude who I know well. And uh one of my biggest supporters as far as, you know, my books, um, not no more after the, uh, so I, he was, he was just being so negative and I don't speak against brothers and sisters on the internet, but I couldn't take it. Cause what I said, brother, well, that that's not, I said, I've, I've been blessed. I'm sorry that happened to you, but I've been blessed. That's not ever been my experience with women. Right. I grew up in a house full of women, uh, I'm the father of 
seven daughters at the time. It's about to be eight daughters, you know, now. Well, seven daughters and one son. So a house full of women. My wife plus them. And even our dog is is, is, is female. <laughs> uh dogs are female. Yeah, dogs are female. Women. I, I just had that <laughs> discussion with my and I said women. I said I had women, house full of women. And oh, even I, my dog, no, I'm just yeah, I, I pointed that out to my son recently, two days ago. Right. So uh that you, you don't call women female. So um I said, it's not my experience that women just give you hell and this and that. Um, he said, well, I'm glad that's not your experience, Baba. But that's not how most men look at it. How you know that? Right. I said, I said, well, I said, damn, you connected. <laughs> because I, I don't know most men. It's a lot of men. It's, it's billions. It's, a, it's billions of men on the planet. I don't know most men. I can't stand it, man. And even the few that I do know, that's not their experience, man. And they, I, I, and I'm friends with cats from other countries, cats from different uh, social statuses. That's not their experience. I see a lot of. I can bring folks on here today. I can bubble out from England. That's not his experience. And and, even and he the, black. The thing is, even if that's your experience understand that's your experience like he was talking about earlier i we got this thing where you dated a leo the leo hurt you i ain't dating leos no more you tell everybody leos so you post on facebook leos this leo that that's the most you dated three leos i don't care when i was i understand when, you being cautious now of leos when i was 17 mm -hmm. met this girl who was beautiful and uh got a number we're gonna need you to talk soon before they think got, yeah, yeah but go got her number <laughs> and she says <laughs> she caught and she got gets my number she called me before i could call her i'm like oh man yeah mm -hmm. so we're talking and everything and it's going beautiful we talk for two hours and i hate talking on the phone y'all but she great conversationalist mm -hmm. we laughing joking talking deep everything's going good and then she gets to you know so what's your sign I said, Pisces, she hangs up. <laughs> I said, damn. Wow. <laughs> so about 30 sorry, minutes later, she called back. She said, I'm, I'm sorry, but you know, maybe we could work this out. But I just had a bad experience with a Pisces a couple of years ago. I said, oh, no, no. I don't want you to have no bad experiences. It's cool. So, you know, uh, what, 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 what you have a good experience with? I've had good experience with Sagittarius and Sons. I said, well, you know, I hope you find one of those. <laughs> like dude, shit, you on some crazy. I can't, you know. Because it's telling. It's very telling oh. of her. And then to hang up on a, a, a Pisces, <laughs> you knew better. Like, you know better. Than that. <laughs> I mean, come on now. I love it. I love it. I love it. Because you know, a Pisces, we either gonna cry or we just gonna, you know, hold hold on to it forever. So, Darian. Says that most of those dudes are hustlers that they see monetary gain and making that type of content. Bingo, That's very true. They always Bingo. have something they end up wanting to sell, some type of lessons, a book, or you know, whatever else. Um, or they have like an organization oh they want you to join. You hear this dude? There's a movement. I'm sorry. Now, it, this, this is you can tell there's a movement. He yeah. said, that, No, that he said there's a movement called. Sis boom, save yourself, black man. They promote the black man leaving the black community. Oh, why not learn? Say that. Oh, my goodness, Sis, save yourself, black man. They promote black men leaving the black community. That, I'm sure that was that was formed by Agent uh McCrumpke. Uh, <laughs> exactly. from the CIA. Exactly. Come on, come on now. And, and, and then, now, Iapo says, <laughs> So true. Let me see. Uh, he says, so one person breaks your heart and all of them are canceled, but there's a system that has historically tormented our people, and the answer is to run into their arms. Well, make it make sense. Exactly. Amen. All right, we're gonna get into uh techniques because now that that's a show in itself, too. Yes, yes, it is. But bottom line is if you uh if you've been hurt by one person from whatever group that doesn't mean the whole group is jack if you've been loved by somebody from one group that don't mean the whole group is great huh. and so you say well what about white people 
Aren't they all bad? At one point in my life, I used to say that. Then later on, I said, well, no, but I ain't got time to, to find the one that's not bad. Just it's like a needle in the haystack. <laughs> exactly. now, now I say they, they got work to do. If, 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 if they're not bad, do work uh, to benefit black folk without benefiting yourself. Do work to benefit black folk without getting, you know, likes on, on the internet and shit. And that's for black folks too, because I'm tired of that shit too. You filming yourself uh, giving money to a homeless person, they go $50. <laughs> then, then when the camera's over, you give me money. And then you go on to, because I got to give it to another dude. Hey. And he said, but I'm hungry. Get a job then, nigga. And then you go, because the camera's off. And then you go and give it, it to happens. somebody else. It happens. Yes, it happens. All, none of my friends that feed the homeless ever, ever took video or pictures. Friend of mine, friend, friend of mine, you never believe. It. A friend of mine changed my whole outlook on the homeless. He used to go in, in Chicago. We had Lower Wacker where they lived. They had their own mayor and everything. He would go, and when he would go, it would be like, hey, like you know, he was like a, a great person. And he would just give, he given uh, his wife's old mink coat. To me. It ain't old. It's like two years old. But he he giving up leather shoes. He giving up, you know, his boot. He would say to me, "Hey man, you know, because I had a lot of different tactical boots, and jump boots. Uh, give up your boots, you know, uh, to somebody that's homeless." I said, "Man, these are my jump boots. I want to keep them." He said, "When are you gonna be jumping on a plane again? Hmm. When are you gonna?" I said, "Damn, that's that's true. I'm just holding up a what's nostalgia? What?" So I, I gave up my boots, and he said, "Come with me." One day, I said, man, what, what, we, we're going to go to the movies. I said, cool. You know, you get me with that one. Because I love going to movies. Not much out movies, but movies. And so we go into the movies, but he breaks off and goes to Lower Wacker. I said, what are you doing? And they recognize his car. It's so many people come out around him, right? And so I'm like, man, are these homeless folks? He said, don't put homeless on. These are folks. Mm. These are our people. And uh, when I start looking at it that way, and these aren't homeless people, these are our people. And any of us can end up in that situation. I changed my whole outlook. And uh, I was young, you know, 22. And um, they embraced me. And it wasn't like, man, I was embraced by the homeless. I was embraced by a new group of people that I didn't know. Yeah. that's how we have to you know and, and so we have to look these are our people and we can end up in that Very position and so let's 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 make sure we aren't be, being emotional with shit because a lot of time our emotion is, is based and most emotion is based off of our opinions and we may have jacked up opinions about certain folks or we get very judgmental about certain other folks, you know. Uh, my wife likes watching Judge Mathis. I can't stand him. And the reason why, one, I hate his voice. He sounds like he's always drunk. How you judging somebody and you drunk. But two, he uh, always calling people crackheads. They're crack addicts. They're crack addicts. They're addicted to a drug. Just like I think he may be addicted to alcohol. People think that's funny. He didn't got his niche. That's why he used right. it. Right. But that's not funny. You know, what? crackhead. You're a crackhead. You're a crackhead. Yeah, I'm, I'm Judge Masters. And anyway, we're about to get into uh, technique. So when you're dealing with getting stole on, I don't know if you've ever been stole on, snuck, sucker punched. It is terrible. Okay. And there's no ninja secrets. We're gonna put the uh, box under this. Yeah. There's no ninja secrets to not getting sucker punch. It's not magic. It's not. So we're gonna show you. Uh oh, I'm gonna get something. Yeah, just just pick it up here. There's no magic mystical. Let me spin this real quick. Magic mystical secrets to not getting sucker punch. Uh, yes. So the, the big thing is to avoid it. Avoid 
Uh, and that's through, and that's the highest form of martial arts, by the way, avoiding. But that's through your situational awareness and your observational skills. Okay. Um, I'm walking and Omeniki's behind me. Hopefully I should feel that, but you always want to be, you know, kind of looking behind you uh, ever so often. And listening. Definitely. Uh, and when I say looking, you don't just look with your eyes. You look with your, and y'all should know that, but it's in my eyes. You also look with your ears. You look with your feeling. You feel in the ground, vibrations, You different things, right? So I, I look over my shoulder and I, I out the corner of my eye, I see Omeniki. That's somebody close to me, right? So say if I'm in a, a place like a, on a bus or in a line, and she's looking like that, that close to me, like, oh, shit. So I don't just look and then just, and then I'm just standing there, and I, I might get stole on, stabbed, whatever, right? So for me, especially I'm in a place that a bunch of unfamiliar folks, I look, uh, and I go, um, now, is this a so-and-so? If, if I'm riding someplace, I say, now, this is the bus that goes to the museum, correct? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, well, okay, well, I hope it is. And then, then I'm, I'm staying moving here. Now, if she's facing me, I know it's an issue. But at least now we face it. She, ain't behind. she, she can't sneak me now, right? So, and, and I don't just turn like this. Because I'm like, boom! Mm -hmm. Catch it, right? Also, if you notice, I have my hands up, not down like this. So as I'm turning, is this the so-and-so bus? I'm getting to a blank. Okay, I don't, so I won't hurt. Now, if she begins to turn to face me, now, <laughs> she, she puts her fist up, goddamn it, yo, she gonna get snuck, because I'm like, damn, she ready to throw. I oh, know, I'm taking off. <laughs> yeah, she, she, she's taking off now. If she's trying to take off on me on this bus, and if somebody else is here, nah, I wouldn't do that. But uh, you know, now when I talked last week and said you drop your, your chin, you can bring those elbows up. The most they, they get your your forehead and they get these elbows. Those hands get broken, right? I'm gonna, but I'm gonna move off the line and force her to move. Also, if I force her to move, who's in control? I am. I'm dictating the dance. She's moving where I want. So at any point, when I move and she moves, I can crack her. Okay. So make sure you don't just stand there and look over your shoulder. Especially, I've seen this. You know, somebody, they, they, people have done this to me. We're in line for the movies. And I didn't, I'm talking to the wife. I didn't got a little too close to him. Not on purpose, but and do, do be like this. At any time, I could knock him out if I had that intention. <laughs> Cause he's just standing still his back to me and looking over his shoulder, looking me up and down. Cause he's trying to show ego that he's so tough. I could just crack him in his jaw, his temple or choke him out. Or if I wanted to, cause I'm always, I always got a tool. I can stick that in his, in his, in his kidneys. So don't let your ego get your ass whooped. Okay. When you look, I would even look at going on man and then you turn up shh, i'm moving i remember i was doing that in a, a teacher self-defense and i brought a sister up and i'm like how you doing sister blah, blah, blah. stop flirting and, and she's like yeah you know i'm really busy i don't have time so and so so and so and then she got her back to me i'm standing like this i don't have time i said my whole shit changed, and she didn't notice. She's just doing so and so, uh, and it was another person up there, like we're on the bus stop, and she's talking to them, a sister. Whole time, and she isn't paying attention until people were like, "Oh sh," and then she looks back. Did you do it just to mess with the see, just to see? Well, I'm, I'm teaching self-defense class. Oh, okay, okay. I got yeah, it. yeah. 
I wouldn't do that in real life. I thought you said you'd be terrified. Okay, I thought this was the bus thing. I'm no, 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 no. I wouldn't do that to somebody in real life. Okay, okay, okay. You know, she on the bus stop. I said, "How you doing, sister? I'm doing okay." And she looked where I go. To a real <laughs> person, no, I would never do that. I was checking. I was like, checking. Said, no, chat so I said, mm -hmm. okay, okay. and so they like, oh, and then she looks back, and I'm looking. I said, "Sister, you were done. Yeah, this is all. You were done. You saw." That I, I'm all close to you. I'm being flirtatious, but then you figure you just ignore me and I go away. It's almost like being nice, and that's a bad thing to do. Well, on niceness, that's also so. Niceness is always a strategy of social interaction. Niceness does not equal goodness. Think about that before you just immediately defend <laughs> what you. Um, niceness does not equal goodness. Because a lot of times people hear that first time. They, people people they being nice as hell is still it's a strategy. It yeah. has nothing to do with, a, it's not a character trait. It's a strategy. Niceness is purposeful. So always know that. So you can tell me somebody was nice, 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 nice. That's not telling they so me they're nice. a good they person. So nice. It's not telling me they're a good person. They so it doesn't so matter. Nice. <laughs> right. And that's because. You know, most people don't understand. That's that's strategic. That's a strategy of social interaction. All of us choose to be nice to somebody or not nice. Right. We choose to be neutral. We choose those are strategies of social it interaction. Make you good. So always look at the context of things. You're on a bus. You're walking down the street, and somebody is close to you like this. That's the context of that is I'm not safe. She's in my personal space. I don't care if it's a woman, man, or whatever. I have to move. Look, see how close you are. And then I move here, right? That's one of the keys to get away so you aren't stolen. But let's say I do get stolen. I get stolen. Now, what do I do? Just crumple if i'm knocked out nothing i can do i'm gonna get stomped stabbed robbed whatever it is we're not superhuman beings if i get what if you get knocked out then what do you do get knocked out and whatever <laughs> whatever's gonna happen to you happen to me too that, that's simple the key is to not get knocked out you, you, you have to avoid that as much as you can but if you can't you can't but training allows you to be able to take a little bit more so if I mean, I just want to interject one thing. So we talked about the emotional element um, of a woman standing close to a man. There's an emotional element there, too, where there could be like an ego thing there oh, where sure. you feel like, you know, you should be flattered that this woman is standing close to you. But what you should be thinking about is how Baba said that you're that you could be in danger. I don't want to stare. I'm not going to I don't want to make anybody afraid, but I will tell you this. Um. This is the season where a lot of things like this happen. A lot of in crowd, pickpocking, kick doors, things of that nature. And it's not necessarily the 16 to 21 year old male that may be involved with these things. Now, I'm going to tell you, things have changed in the last 10 years. You see women involved. It's always been. Well, I mean, down here, women have always been involved, but now. Because of the, the way the gangs is in the South a lot harder, and women and girls joining the gangs and stuff, like now it's a part of initiation to everything. Well, I'm gonna tell you, I, I went to Howard in 1985, okay, and that's the first time I saw a dude get knocked out with a baseball bat, and it was by a woman. Mm. They robbed him. A bunch of women, gorgeous sisters, came. They were walking up the street. This on Georgia Avenue. This dude, they walking up. This dude walked out. I'm sitting in the restaurant looking out. Dude walking past him. He got a briefcase and he comfortable as hell because these are just sisters. And he got a baseball bat, but he ain't paying no attention because these are fine sisters. Right. Right. Softball practice. Right. Mm -hmm. And as he's walking by, they walk a little bit by him and boom! He got stole on with mm -hmm. bat. Knocked him out. They took his suitcase. They ran his pockets. And they came in the restaurant. I'm like, oh shit. Now other people just like, okay, you know, cute women. 
because they ain't paying attention. I'm like, oh, shit. They sit across from me. One goes to get the food. They start flirting with me and job. I'm trying to ignore them. Mm-hmm. Can I come over and sit with you? Um, no, I'm waiting on somebody. I'm like, <laughs> people looking at me like, man, you better go ahead and jump on that. I'm like, no, no, because they might jump on me. For real. Like, so that's the first time, and those are sisters. Uh, I've told them about this sister who was called Bubbles because she was so bubbly. I had a crush on Bubbles. Bubbles was a fiance of a close friend of mine, Donald, right? Bubbles and, and, and his brother, Dennis, are pitching pennies. I don't know if y'all know what that is. You, you're pitching mm-hmm. the pennies to get close to the, I know y'all do, uh-huh. to get close to the uh, yeah, line in the concrete. I mean, in the sidewalk, it's a line. You're getting close, the one who gets close to the edge wins the penny. So they going, and she beats Dennis five cents. He owes her five cents. So she said, I, I got you, man. Let me get my five cents. He said, girl, I can give you that five cents. She said, no, 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 five cents, Dennis. This is her fiance. Mm-hmm. Bubbles is bubbly, pretty as hell. Nice body, bodied up. <laughs> she ain't got a scar on her, so don't like she ever been in a fight in her life. Mm-hmm. Don't look like. Let me get my five cent. He said, girl, get out of here. Bubbles takes out a knife and stabs Dennis and rakes it across his stomach. Oh. Bubbles goes to prison, but after she stabs him, she said, she says to me as they as they taking her away, because I'm like, Bubbles, I'm shocked. I love Bubbles. What is she said, don't never let nobody take nothing from me. Mr. Gonzalez. And they stick her in the car. And Dennis goes to the hospital. Like he was, I bet they got married afterward. No, they didn't. Dennis wasn't that stupid. Bubbles mm-hmm. was in prison. Dennis was in prison. <laughs> but even she got out, Dennis was. Yeah, got I said, if she got, else. yeah, she yeah, she yeah. got married Mr. to her. Gonzalez her says, right? Mr. Gonzalez <laughs> says it doesn't matter if it's a woman. Numbers always matter. Yeah, that's true. But no, it's not even the numbers. The fact that it's a woman, you put your guard down. Yeah, because that was that was just one woman. I've been in the club before. Uh, Jerry said, "Damn, bubbles." Yeah, bubbles was something else. I've been in the club before where a woman was. Was took me for another dude, and I was with a bunch of dudes, and she walked up to me. Woman mistook you for a dude for another dude. Oh, oh, oh. So, come on! <laughs> I'm like, oh so, no! She so she walked up to me. She was shorter than me, and walked up to me and just was just like this, just looking at me like this. <laughs> Seriously, so she walked up to me just like this, right? Because if it was a dude, would have came close to me like that. I'd have right, right, right. You, man. right. But she up in my face like this, looking at me, right? So. I'm looking at her down. I'm like, well, she don't say nothing. And she she trying. To, I know now she was like, is that him? That's you, ain't it? That's what she said in her head. That's just still. That's just still no, position. She too. pulled the knife out and. Oh, and you? She you. cut you? Who is that? This side. Damn. Right I ain't excuse me. I'm sagging a little bit. She cut me right there. Y'all can see that mark right there. Damn, no. Pulled out a knife. Said. And pulled out. I don't need, I think one of my homeboys must have grabbed her. That probably was bubbles. That might have been bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> you. But I'd have never seen the girl again. She might come out another day, but that was years ago as a, as a kid. But no man would have got that close to me. You know what I'm saying? So just you never know. And that's just mistaken. I could have been you know, looking if she would have knew what she was we, doing. We left the comedy club. It was a sister drunk. Uh, Dr. Boss said the one that stabbed Dr. King. Mm. Wow. I didn't know that. Wow, mm-hmm. okay, wow. See, yeah. uh, shit. I was coming out the comedy club, and this sister was, you know, <laughs> and uh, so you know, friends with me, they said, Oh, snap, she can work by Lagoon. I said, Okay, that's you know, that's, that's nice. Mm-hmm. I don't care if this is throwing punches or okay, uh, we're gonna be throwing a bunch of punches at class tomorrow, but mm-hmm. and uh, I know, I said, I know they're gonna do it. Say, so you you box? She said, yeah, I box. I'm a kickboxer. So and so, so and so. And they said, Oh, he a martial arts instructor. <laughs> and here she come. Mm. I said, Sister, stop! <laughs> stop! So she, one she, one she one says, I can get, so I, I get close. And I'm like, She's drunk too. She gonna hit me, <laughs> right? I said, Sister, <laughs> stop! And so she come, and I can tell. Here it comes. It's gonna hit me. And so when she goes, I go under. I, 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 I double leg her, I pick her up. 
I said, where's your car? She said, let me down. Where's your car? Let me down. I said, where's your car? Let me down. Where's your car? I take over my shoulder like that. <laughs> now you're going to get really drawn. And so she said, it's over there. I said, okay, come on. I walk her ass to the car. I put her on the uh, back of the car. I said, don't do that no more. Don't do that no more. See, the wrong person, she'd have hit them in the, in the, in, in, in the noggin. They either got knocked out and embarrassed mm-hmm. or they'd been fighting her like you fight a dude. I wasn't gonna do either. Jerry Brown said the perfect woman who stabbed out the king was Bubbles' mom in 1950. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Oh, that's good. That's, that's cold. That's cold. Uh, but but she trained Bubbles well. Hey, hey, Bubbles. <laughs> but Bubbles was something else. I, I wish I had a picture of Bubbles uh, so you y'all can see. You see her. You like that? That that bad. cute girl didn't do nothing. So hold up. Uh, Nesta Gonzalez says, yep, anyone can stab you real quick. It's almost impossible to react unless you are in guard position. Just had someone try to stab me last month, took care of the food, and now he's in jail, but only three. Only three minutes. He was only in jail three minutes? Damn. That's creepy. Three, three months. Oh, I thought it was three, three minutes. minutes. I'm like. Hey, he just popped right over. Right, <laughs> <He said>, right. <laughs> he had another, <laughs> another uh, knife. He picked his way out of it. <laughs> now, um, if you train, it's not you don't have to right, right. Position. If, it, if right. it's trained, you don't have to just have your and, and this here too. I'm like this because they'll teach people get your fence up. <laughs> First of all, that that makes her want to do something to me. If if if, if we have a disagreement, if, if you if you, you want to be if you're gonna do that, you gotta be, right, come, come come calm down now, calm down. But just so you know, the worst thing you could do is tell a person who is pissed to calm down. Yes. And I'm telling you, calm down. So I'm looking like I'm afraid. That's another thing that empowers you. When I was locked up, this cat was acting scared as other dude because he's planning on you know sneaking him. Mm-hmm. He's planning on stealing on him. See, hey man, man, I don't wanna, I don't, I don't wanna, I don't, I don't wanna, wanna do that. He rubbing his face. Whenever somebody's rubbing their face too, and you're in a disagreement, they plan on, and you know they can be violent. They plan on throwing that hand. So he, man, I don't want to. But the dude got empowered by him acting scared and hit him. Mm-hmm. And then he, and, and he didn't know how to turn. So if I have my right foot forward and she punches me, I do not bring my left foot forward to try to fight because she punches me and I go, and I'm crossing my feet over. Instead, she punches me. I turn with my with my right foot, right? I want to really roll with that punch and then I bring my other foot over so I never cross my feet. He crossed his feet and then the dude really felt the power because it looked like the dude, like he running now. And he caught business, okay? That dude was our pod boss who got his ass whooped. He had shoulders like this and a waist this big. He was fearsome, but that young boy, when he cracked him, he had all the, because the dude, he, and the problem, he wasn't scared. He just didn't know what he was doing. He just didn't know what he was doing. And that empowered that young boy. That young boy gave it to him then. Let me speak to what he just said about don't tell people to calm down unless you want them to get hype. I was just, this dude, I just, he, he may be watching. I don't care. This weekend, a dude that owed me money, right? Um. I talk, I'm talking to him on the phone. I finally, I ain't talked to him in a long time, but I, I finally, he finally called me, you know, and it was like, I'm talking to him like, man, you, you, you so and so and so, you done been on me, blah, blah, blah. And the dude told me to calm down. And I immediately got upset. I wasn't upset. I was just, you know, talking. Sometimes you got to project yourself to let them know you're serious. But as soon as he said calm down, I said, oh, you still asking me for stuff? You got a nerve to ask me to calm down. You ain't get you know ask me for money. Now you yeah, ask me to I calm down. You, I was I don't was dealing with this. I was dealing with this fool who had disrespected my wife, and uh, you know, probably harsher than I I should have been. But you don't disrespect my wife, and um, especially in my house. <laughs> and then tell I said you don't just. He said, "Oh yes." <laughs> he said, "Oh yeah." He's "Oh yes." Now, I said, "You gotta get the hell up out of here." 
this is a person, well, I, I won't go into who he was, but he wasn't well, a, a relative. Who he was. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, I don't see him no more. Not like that. Oh, no. So, so the, the guy, now it, it probably would have been that way, but my wife says, babe, calm down. And I, what? I got mad at her for a second. And then I had to turn it. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. I said, no, no you, you got to get the F out my house, right? And uh, he said, he just sits down again. I said, you going to just sit down? Oh, yes. <laughs> this mother. And then my wife actually grabs me and turns me towards the stairs like, babe, go down to your office. I'm like what? If I go down to the office, I am furious. So now I'm mad at them both He's because she's stopping me. So I'm, I'm down there. I'm typing fast as hell. I'm gonna put typing. And um, what what really got me when I went down down to the office? I'm glad I didn't do what I was planning to do to do because I walked down to the office. And my children were sitting right there. Thank you, children. Two of my my, my two youngest, and I, I said. Oh, Cause I didn't want, I want children to stay children. I don't want them to ever see me in that mode unless it just, it just absolutely can't be helped because that mode can get scary to our youth. It can get scary to some adults, but definitely to a child. Right. So I didn't want them to see that. So I said, shit. So I'm, I'm, I'm just typing, <laughs> you know, and um, then I'm, I'm listening to my wife tell them, you know, you, you're lucky because Baba Goon doesn't allow me to get disrespected. You got to get out of here, uh, so and so, because I'm not going to be able to stop him again. I know that's right. And, and so he 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 walks downstairs and he he's like, I say, you know, have you know, have a good day, so and so, so and so. And then this nigga <laughs> says, "Boy, us and our, our minds, we need help with our minds." <laughs> that's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I said, I said, you're absolutely right. Because only a crazy motherfucker <laughs> would talk like that after he almost got his ass beat to death. Get the hell up out of here. And then he leaves out. Yo, Nesta, so Nesta Gonzalez makes a very good point. And that, that it's, it's, a, it's a high ranking, just so you know, it's a high ranking person from another country that was that. And the person's looking or any of his many students are looking yep i said it i do it again and i do it to you too his school <laughs> all right <laughs> nesta gonzalez said a great point the guy that he said only got three months he was like only got three months if it wasn't on camera at the store he would have probably you know gotten anything got off of it but it's just a point he said don't expect cops to save you you know he had to keep yeah, that <laughs> well of course we know that but you know what I'm saying don't expect cops to save you in the situation i had to keep the peace of during in the AM, um, you said what now? Piece of S H I T. Oh, okay. Piece I had a piece of dumb in the arm lock for ten minutes before the cops came to the store. Anything could have happened. Like maybe his friends show up. Okay, now I don't know what kind of arm lock. However, I will say this: if you hold an arm lock for more than five minutes, you risk them getting out because this wherever you're holding them, it goes numb. Right, make a move after that. Right now. If I'm gonna hold you, I feel I gotta. I ain't gotta hold you that long. I just snap this. I just dislocate your shoulder, right? And I ain't gotta hold you, <laughs> to be honest. But um, That's such a good point. Bob. <laughs> but if you do, you know, ha ha. If you shoot him, you don't have to hold him. Either. Yeah, yeah, you're right, right. You don't have to hold. Him. <laughs> but this here, okay, that that works for a couple minutes. After Ooh. five minutes, that's 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 dead. Is numb. So you might as well dislocate it. You can switch to the other hand. Right, you dislocate and you grab the other one while you hurt him. Well, no, yeah. So if I dislocate this, I ain't gotta, I ain't gotta do that. I make her palm touch her forearm. <laughs> I don't have to. I, 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 I do it. She, I, she has to act now, and then, and then, then I let go. It, it's touching this, and she's looking at that, and she's doing all that. And while she's doing, it, I'm just standing there. <laughs> And she's looking sad. I said, let me straighten it out for you. I straighten it and then I like it this way. And then I make the back of her hand touch her. Right. I wake it back up. <laughs> See, and then I let go again. Relocate 
Right, right, <laughs> right. Relocated to another, so I gentrified it. Then I ran them out the neighborhood. I sent them to another neighborhood. That's all. The thing you That's said about you the knife that you have to be in guard position, you don't. You have to train, just like you have to train for a punch to come. You're not going to be like this when the punch comes. You say, he quickly put his hand out. You just have to be ready nah, to come. You say, but he'll he'll cut you. No, nah, so if he's getting ready to cut. Right. I'm, there you go. Cut. He moved forward so they can see this ball. Oh. So he right there, he blocked that. Right. If so I I'm expecting him to cut. Right. So yeah. I, I'm not just staying there, right? right? So it's here. Because if this just right. touches me, I'm cut. So right. I, I stop, like, hey, dude. Right. And then he gets ready to move. So in the way, this is how, and this is how you should, if, if I go and he blocks underneath like that, you cut back. Yes. Right? That's and then I'm ready. So what I do when 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 I move at all, he moves. He moves back and he moves forward. Right. So and he's there, so I can't and cut again. Off. And people say, well, then he just switch to the other hand. Then he just, and then just fire out. <laughs> I mean, you know, that that but you have to train and, and you gotta train that over that and over. From, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and to stay calm too. Right. But now if if, if he tries to if he does sneak, say he hits me and, and I'm stole on. Bow, I caught him in the Well, once I'm stole on, you have to brace yourself. Yes. Work on your legs too, because if you got weak legs, you're just going down. But try to brace yourself. So get a, a wide base, brace yourself, coming in. and then throw, because yep. he's going to be coming. So you throw Bow. that fist. And after you throw that fist, you can turn and either deal with him or throw the fist and then take off. So I'll deal with Cody. I got stole on. Uh, Cody Whiteman's right here. Mm -hmm. okay. I got stole on. Boom. I'm down. I braced myself. Oh, right. He didn't knock me out. He knocked me out once again. You're just going to get stomped out and stuff. So, you know, train. You can take a, a bit more. Boom. I throw the fist, but try to look over. If you can't, because you days, just throw your fist out, right? So, boom. I'm down. Boom. I hit. Now, that goes over his head. I pulled back. I went over his head. I dropped behind his neck. That's a collar tie. Boom! I turned. Boom! Hit. Boom. Hope y'all can see me. Look at the camera so they can see you. Right, I'm ready for more. And uh, just so y'all know, all of this stuff is stuff that we train all the time. Every time we turn, when we're training in class, he trains us to turn like that. So I don't, when I get ready to turn this way, that, that hand goes out when I turn, before I turn. And it's one of those things that's like a, it's like a nugget. Right, so you 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 step, if I'm if I'm gonna turn in that direction, I don't just turn in that direction, I'm gonna catch it. I turn, I strike. Also, if I turn, come forward, be like, if I turn and he's striking. Go strike. With the right. Well, yeah, boom. That is blocking me. Yeah. That's hitting him. But blocking. I can't get a punch. But it's, 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 he can't get his punch, but I'm hitting him. If he throws the other hand, it doesn't matter. I'm not worried about. It. Go ahead, throw. As I'm boom. <laughs> See, and if he throws it up high like a a, a hammer, oh, okay. that just here it meets right. there, right? So at least I didn't get hit, even though I didn't hit him. I can bring that down and then crack him, right? Uh, or I could just block, push him off some block. I can push him off and run. Real so good. about getting knocked out too, Bob. The punch is not usually what knocks a person out. It's usually when they hit the ground. Or so, or or forward if his if his head snaps back into his spine. Yeah, that snap back like but that. But this here, like uh punch around to my jaw. Oh, okay. Bow, like that. He hits to the jaw, right? People do that. That's so stupid to hook around like uh, this. Although, or you can hook like that. I mean, shit, that's it's, a, it's enough hurt. to knock him out. Yeah, that'll get you right there. So, so here, I'm, boom, oh, right? I took that step forward, so my right foot's forward. I step in. I'm coming with my oh, And then, boom, boom, I come up. So with Cody Whiteman, I'm standing at at the line to get those vegan donuts we talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. And he, yo, oh, steals on me, right? Oh, I throw, boom, hit it, right? Boom, even if I don't look, throw. You should look, but you may be so dazed you can't look, right? So I throw, boom, hit. And then I can take off or, boom, hit. 
Boom, hit. Some boom, boom, hit. What I did there is called a number 10 punch for us. I step off the line, my head's out the way of his hands. Boom, and I'm hitting. Okay, so if you threw that hand, I'm out the way of that, I'm out the way of that one, boom, I hit. Drive these knuckles into his face, to his nose or whatever. Um, if, like I talked about, I see him and then I turn, right? So I'm here, I turn. So what bus is this going to? So, 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 like that. What bus is this going to? Blah, 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 blah. And then he starts to turn towards me, like motherfucker, and is aggressive. Come, I give it to him. But also turn and lets me look at him. If this is somebody I know, I'll know if we had beef. I'll know if we had beef. <laughs> if we didn't, I'm wondering, okay, what's the issue? But I'm not going to do deep contemplation. Why does he seem to want to do? I, I can't worry about that right now. I can't worry about that. If it's going to go down, it's going to go down. Um, this is where the song so bust goes. Talk with your hand. The song so bust goes. All right. And, and, that's might have to train. and then if he moves, then huh, give it to him. Okay. Or give him a palm. Um, palm sandwich. If, sure. if, if, if he pulls up with a tool, you can give him to the throat. That lion's mouth, we call it. It's right between your thumb and index finger, that, that web part here. Boom. Hit it. Okay. I get boom. And do not. Like in the movies, boom, he's just dead. No, it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. Boom, you hit here, hands go up to the throat. They usually bend, and at that point, that's when you take it, right? At that point, you can just start just really, or you can simply that take that tie. collar tie, and then from there, you can hit, uppercut, yeah. or you can put him in the guillotine. Can you get my glasses? So if I put him in the guillotine, um, he stole, I'm here, I go boom, right? And then I give him the gum, and then hit him boom again, I can turn that into a collar tie. Once I turn that into a collar tie, I would have done it on the second, but I want y'all to be able to see. You catch him in the guillotine. So with the guillotine, if my left foot is back, and I got here, him in this left collar tie, my right foot back, excuse me, I got him in his left collar tie. And I want to get him in the guillotine. I don't reach over like this. I throw my hip forward. I bring my arm up like I'm about to punch again. And I bring this over his neck. Now once I bring it over, so I bring my hip forward and my arm forward. Of course, I bring my hip forward and my arm forward. I bring this under his chin. And then around i grab here now the big mistake is and i don't usually correct this with folks but i'm going to correct it today so you all can see uh is people pull up and arch their back well that cranks the neck but it gives them a little leeway for the choke instead as i pull up i do bring my hip forward but I keep my chest touching his shoulder. So I'm kind of arching my back. I bring my hips forward and I'm pulling up excuse me, on my arm like this, like it's a window pane. I'm pulling up. So I'm grabbing my hand. I'm not grabbing my arm down here because that's going to give him more room. I'm pulling up on his throat. This is a Jew, y'all. Most people don't do this like this. So they don't get it as tight as he and so, my shoulder, I'm, I'm kind of laying on his back. L at least let your chest touch his back. Bring your hips towards his hips as you lift up on your arm. That's how you do a guillotine choke. It's tight. That will knock him out in seconds. So what I'm doing is pressing against his throat and against his carotid arteries. Exactly. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm good. 
So you hear it. That can also come from I go to yep. punch, he ducks. Oh, I catch him under there, right? I push his head under my arm, into my armpit. I grab, remember, chest stays on him. Don't lip up like this like you've seen in movies. <laughs> Stay down low. Keep your chest on his arm, on his shoulder, and move your hips towards him as you pull your arm up. Yeah. I touch my hips to his. He's, he's unconscious by that time. Okay, some say compressed in on him. He gets no room as I'm bringing this, my fist up, trying to bring it to my neck. He's under my armpit. And so it just cuts him off. Okay. Um, you can do that. You say, well, he's going to stab you. Probably not, to be honest with you. We've done chokes to people and they try to stab. Uh, it usually doesn't work. Uh, give him that that knife there. But if he has a knife, you know this ain't probably going to happen anyway when you're doing this because he's going to be just yanky, 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 yanky. You mean if they're saying if I got a tool on me, can I pull it in the guillotine? If you no, I'm just guillotine. saying because I know people will say that. No, you got it out. So if he's got that out, yeah, I mean, you ain't don't, don't, don't get no, no chokes. I hope you got your tool out too. <laughs> I hope you got your tool out. No, no, no. For anybody who want to try me, if I pull a knife, up, please try to choke me. <laughs> now, if he steals on me and I turn and 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 I'm like, "What's going on, sir?" and he pulls a knife. Right. Number one, you don't have to worry about if you're in a violent encounter or not. You are. <laughs> you, you found that okay. out quickly. So you have a choice. Two things you do with a tool, particularly a knife. When it's out, uh, you're not gonna do this with a, with a pistol. You want closeness with a pistol. With a knife, you either want to be very close, or you want to be way the hell away. Yes. So you can run, and if run is not an option, I'm on the bus, or my children with me, I don't have an option. Well, then I have to be very close. I didn't say close. I said very close. This ain't where you want to be. This ain't. Because now he can start whittling. I, I'm going, out, out, out. <laughs> I had a brother in a certain organization. An organization, they dress well. Uh, you know. They, and they, they say brother like brother. That's all I'll say. This one brother taught this. This I, I end up being the instructor for these brothers. Um. He said, person stabbing. Well, somebody asked, what if you stab me? He said, you block like this. Ha! Huh? He said, well, what if the knife go through your hand? He said, you pull it out, you throw the blood in their face. First of all, it's not going to bleed a lot from a punch wound. But he said, you throw the blood in their face, you say, a lot And then they give you the strength and you knock him out. Stop it. Stop it. I'm not breaking on the religion, but stop it. If I cut you, you can yell, a lot whack bar. You can be brickety growl like Gossip Fetch. You can say whatever you want to say. That ain't going to save you. And that's what you're going to say. Yeah. Now you're going to turn to Jane Brown. <laughs> and if he knows what he's doing, he's not stabbing him, just pulling out. No, that's he's stabbing, oh, he turning, can't. and then he comes up between your fingers to bifurcate your hand. Huh? You are going to go into shock. So it's not, that's not something you want to happen. You don't be blocking no knife. You don't be kicking a knife. Too many movies. Karate kicking a knife. Because if he cuts your femoral artery when that leg comes out up, you are leaking badly. So you want to be very close. You say, oh, shit. Hey, hey, man, I don't know what's going on. Why, you why you want to stab me? Yeah, why? And hey, you go right back in the space. Why everybody all kicking on me? <laughs> <laughs> they call me Brooklyn J. So you, you grab him. Once you push this into him, he has three more movement there so he can move away from you. So you don't allow that. After I push that into him, now I got to grab him. Secure. I, I got to make sure and I'm, I'm holding that. Now, if you have teeth, I talked about that before, you can ah, bite the muscles in his shoulder out. I can't. If I do that, he's going to smile. And he's gonna <laughs> smile. All right. But I can drive these knees up into him, up yes. into his groin, to the back of his legs. I, I don't want to throw him because I'm letting go of that knife. 
So now I gotta I gotta work. If I can, I can try to throw headbutts, but from this position, I can't. Right. Uh luckily I know what I'm doing. I don't want y'all to do this. I use my chin. Right here. To break him down. And then I step back and start slamming knees up into his groin. Yeah. I don't want you to do that. Just slam knees. Do the best you can, knees. Your your knee okay? Yeah. Slam those into his thigh. Um, let me bring it down so you can see. I see like you over here. So I'm here, boom. Boom. Up into his groin. Boom. Knees, boom, to his thigh, boom. Oh, oh. Needs now we call this Georgia Power. I don't know what you all call uh, <laughs> your your power companies because enough needs to the nerve plexus here to yeah. put your lights out. Yeah. So make sure you are throwing and, and you punch it. So use the biggest joint first. That's your hip. Throw so your hip and then your knee punches forward into him. You got to devastate them with those knees because you got to hold on once you get that. Okay. It's a it's a myth. It's a misconception of people that ain't really never had a, been in a, 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 a situation with this that you're gonna do all type of pretty stuff with it. And yeah. Not, so it's not realistic. Now, same in that in, in in that organization, the brother told me we'll let you teach if you can defend against a knife. So I did. A uh, friend of mine, and if he's watching, Daryl, Daryl will tell you. He, he says, now that was 30 some years ago. He said, my wrist, wrist still effed up. He, he was told, stab him for real. I said, well, if you do, this is my boy. I said, it's cool. I'm going to defend myself for real. And that's what happened. So he stabbed at me. Easiest thing to defend, yeah. still not what you want, because if it was a slash, it's a problem. You still defend it, but you don't want to. And I'm at a high level. If you had to do this, do it. Now, don't do this. He stabbed, don't do this. Ha! Because he turns that up and cuts, he cuts this wrist and maybe gets both. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do no X hands. <laughs> and if you X, one's here and one's here. That's much so you can manipulate yeah, and stuff, much better. but you're this you're going to get cut by both. Yeah. Don't do that. Or he puts his hand there, pushes both into me, and now, oh boy! So don't, 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 don't use the X hand. He stabs you. Got to come off the line. It's a line, so come off the line. Go ahead, stab. Come on, come on, go ahead. <laughs> come, come on, go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. <laughs> go off the line. Or go off the line. Highest form of self-defense. Should not be there. So what I did to Daryl is this. He stabbed. Come on. I went here. Caught him so he couldn't go, go nowhere. And then I pushed it. I pushed it out. Caught it here. That there, he's pinned. So people just, just do that. He can twist out of that. So I go like this, he can twist, twist under, or twist yourself under, right? I'm here, so twist under, like this. Oh, like that. Yeah, yeah. So he can twist under that, right? Mm -hmm. Or even the other way. So I go here, you can just sit right, like that. Don't just take him here, pin him. So you push his wrist to his forearm, and then <laughs> I took Daryl over. Boom! He was up in the air, and as he's looking up at me, he said, oh, shit! Just the momentum of that just now. Well, still like it. But because it was it was real. But I don't recommend that because shit, if you make a mistake on your step. Yeah, you You're done. Step. So he cuts here. He cuts. He cuts. He cuts. <laughs> I've been doing this a long time. Don't let that fool you. Don't let the smooth taste fool you. And say, well, I can do it too, because he got a gut. He got my experience allows me to be able to do that, but God that ain't what I want to do. Right. The best thing for you to do, and, and students ask me, they say, What should I do? He stabs. Oh! <laughs> Holler because say, oh shit, it's gonna give you an oh shit moment. Oh, and then push that into him. At least something worth And now we're here. So 
Yeah. See where it's at? Don't do this now. <laughs> it's stabbed. So now that dictates that you got to turn mm -hmm. and I'm to cut, this side. I'm cutting myself already. You just got me cut myself. And now the knees come. Now I got to try not to cut myself. Okay. You say, well, he'll cut you. He won't because we're close as hell. I can't. You have already. to be close. You can't. You got to train this to be this tight. You see, I'm, I'm jacked up right now. I can't move. I can't move this wrist enough to get it. Now, of course, we're going to be. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> so <laughs> that was tight. you have to be like that. And if he doesn't have a knife, if he tries to steal on, when he steals on you and you hit, boom, right? Boom. I pull him to me and guillotine or say I try to pull him. He looks up. He knows he's doing shit. I pull him to me and I'm here. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were going to go to that last. No, the same thing. I go here. Yep. And knee. Yep. Here. To that. Here. Right back to that. Okay. Really simple. Hold him. And this is something you can practice with a loved one or whatever. You say, babe, I'm not letting you. I'm not letting you. Hey! <laughs> Get out. Right. Especially women with your husband. So this is how your hands should be clapped. Do not do this with your fingers. Mm. You get your fingers uh, crushed or dislocated. Clap. And hold. Don't do the S like you unless you got really strong things and he got more room there. Here I clap. And then you squeeze that into your body. Yeah, that's uncomfortable. So try that with your spouse, sisters, brothers. You can try it with your spouse. That'd be cold. You know, unless your spouse is a big dude. <laughs> then you can try it. But either way, it doesn't matter. I can bring in a bigger guy here. Uh, the only thing, if they have really huge body, and I got short arm, I got a little pterodactyl arm, like the, one of our students that we know <laughs> and love from New York. <laughs> what you do is you got to put your hands here and here and make a sandwich. I mean, make a tight old Dagwood sandwich. Yeah, you can still get tight like that. You can and be tight. tight. Just do not interlace your fingers. So you press and press. So I'm pressing hard with both pressing hard on his arm, I'm pressing hard on my hand. Or, but clapping is the best if you can, okay? If he tries to drop and get out, drop, he doesn't. <laughs> if the weight's too much for me, then I turn when I drop. and when he drops and I drop him on his back. Or my neck, whichever one happens. I would lift him and slam him on his neck, but <laughs> That's what I uh, don't do this. He's trying to drop, and you loosen up, and then you think you're going to grab him like that. That's, that's not, not that's not going to happen. <laughs> this is what you want, especially you if control. He, he can't punch you. You got control. None of that, okay? And you got knees. Remember that. And if you got teeth, you got bites. And they give me the same offense. for It's the same thing you're going to do this. If I did had a knife, if I didn't have a knife, same thing. You say, well, what if he grabbed your groin? Grab my groin. I'm not. He can't grab my groin. Grab my groin. I can't. He, he can't grab my groin, y'all. I can't even grab his leg right now. I can't move my hands. I'm not joking. And my groin way over here. Right. Uh, he only got his leg right here, and I can't grab that. I can grab my leg. <laughs> I can't grab his. Right. So. And that's not a selling point, y'all. This is real. This is just real. So that is what you need to do. Now, if he knocks you on the ground after the punch, that's a whole nother uh, little, class, yeah. and we'll deal with he's standing, you're on the ground, we'll deal with that maybe next right. week. Yeah, you've done some of that, too. and we have so, yeah, and you're, you're kicking them off you, yeah, you know, you know keep, and then you're standing, swing your legs back, stand up, swing don't try back. to go down there, catch him in the sambo, ankle lock. This, mm -hmm. this ain't the movies, mm -hmm. you're right. trying to save yourself, get up. If I had to pull my tool, I, I, and I know I remember that I did that to you, you came at me. Mm -hmm. I, I, I slit your femoral, right? Just so you know, the femoral artery, you put four fingers at your ankle. That's where your femoral artery starts. And it goes all the way up to close to the crease in your groin. You got a lot of surface area to cut. Okay. When Mug say, I slit my wrist. I wanted to commit suicide. You didn't. You didn't. You, you really, you wanted attention. First of you, if, if, I'm not gonna say how you could do that to, to cause it quicker, but horizontally like this, you you didn't. Um, now you can bleed out like that, but you get you know on TV they in the uh, tub and it take about 
a good 30 minutes too. That's why they get in the tub. Yeah. yeah. Sit in the car. Hopefully nobody does this. But if you cut that femoral that shit's coming out of there fast. I'm only telling you that, not so you commit suicide, so you can commit protection. <laughs> if you got to sit on the side. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, so you can commit protection. If you have to protect yourself, you're on the ground. Right. You take that knife, he comes at you. But also for my kung fu kicking, karate kicking folk, if you kick against a knife, think you're going to kick the knife out of his hand. He may not even know what he's doing. He's, oh! yeah. And that's pointing towards you. You kick, and the force of your kick drives this knife into you your femoral you artery. Yourself. The harder you kick, the deeper it's going to go in. You have done yourself. When you pull your leg back, you chamber that leg back, mm -hmm. and put it down. Woo! Woo! You say, oh, shit! Why is there a puddle of blood beneath me? Because it's shooting out, it's shooting out of your femoral artery. Thank you, Gene. So, like this on just be very careful. Uh, Thanks, He's telling you this stuff so if you, you know, you'll know how much time you got, or somebody that's around you that needs help if they were to get hit in the femoral. Artery. And just so you know, the reason why um, a lot of telling instructors don't know the stuff, but a lot won't tell you that because. They want to be the big, they know if you're in another state or country, you're not coming to the class. They want to be the big man on the block. Right. Ain't no big man on the block. It's martial arts, right? It's either you know it or you don't. You faking or you ain't. Right. I'd be like, Baba, don't give them that. I don't want them taking that. Right. They, they, and I'd be like, man, they, they can't do that. They, right. They, they, they faking, they're going to be faking. If they don't know it, if they don't know. If you don't know a thing that doesn't exist. You this, want y'all to know. I want y'all to know. And if, know they, if they if they watch it, oh, and in fact, I know some are watching because I've been watching all certain broad classes. Uh, all of a sudden, these shows of it's, it's right different. They're doing women. Y'all just doing just so you know, them. there's a brother that's out too. Y'all better stop fucking with me. I'm the karate grandmaster. <laughs> right. I researched him years before. He was doing a karate dude who had sisters shaking their booties around him and stuff. And he still he was smoking a cigarette, but he had on a red uniform and all that. Yeah. Now, my wife looks like this dude, the, the cadence of his voice, the way he's doing the karate. He got a white uniform on now. Mm -hmm. We know he got that from Ice Cold Carter. But I, let, let him do what he do. The one thing, he, I, I, I just wrote an Ice Cold Carter uh, novel. He can't do that. Right. He can't do that. He can't do this. So he can't do this. So yeah. I'm not worried about that. So, you know, I always tell him, don't worry about cats stealing. Cause I mean, number one, we didn't create this. Yeah. It was created by Africans long before anybody watching us or watching anything on BPM existed. That's how right. old it is, right? Cause we, we know uh, Daruba old as hell, <laughs> right? Uh, I love you, you don't just mess with me. But um, it's older than all of us. It's older than my father. It's old. So this stuff belongs to black people. They go get it, they go get it. I'm going to give it to those who want to get it. But if you want to come to class, we are here in Atlanta if you ever want to come. Or if you want to bring us to you. Uh, that's where we're moving to now. But I know COVID has slowed down a lot see of stuff. See your torch. I see you out there. But we'll be out here for y'all. You know, uh, you ever want us to come to your town, and Definitely. then we can get down on some things Almost, more so than I, I would. I would show online. Definitely, definitely. Because I only want to give a bunch of stuff online because I don't like these fake folks being able to legitimize themselves with something they didn't got from us. But we know it's they ain't okay. gonna, yeah, you because know, they ain't never gonna be able to do and, it. And, like and, this. and 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 they're not gonna. You can you can look legitimate, but it's not legitimate. We know that dude from dust in Detroit. To some people, they think it's legitimate, right. and most people recognize that as foolishness. Exactly. But he got he made enough money on people who did believe in him that he's paying people right. like Snoop to do episodes with him and stuff like that. Like even more than you. So now, like like Snoop a martial art master or something. But see, we have this thing. There are commercials 
if you remember, they would say, I'm not a doctor, but I play one on TV right, and they right. start teaching you. Well, OK, when you say I'm not a doctor, I don't need to listen to what he got to say about this medical thing. But I did, but I did play one on TV. Right. So now we still watch them. We're I won't say we're the only country that does that, but we're the country that has an epidemic with that now, yeah. where we entertainers become leaders. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. But they know because they know it's the people who choose leaders. Right. If you're saying you're, I'm a leader, get your ass out of here. You don't determine that. The people determine that. And so they know if you make, if I make myself popular enough, you will say I'm a leader. So they're talking even about Kanye like he's a leader or something. Right. Of course he say crazy shit. He's an entertainer. He's not a leader. I said that in the panel one time because they was big up in a, a certain rap group that I love. And I said, be careful of talking about these folks like they leaders. Just because they're making conscious rap. There you go. They're conscious rappers. You don't even know if they do the things they talk about in their songs. Because so a lot of it's acting. Right. We know the ones dealing drugs ain't talking about in their songs. So why is it the ones talking about revolutionary things what makes you think they're doing it in their songs they're entertainers and i'm talking about i know some intimately and they are not and they'll tell you don't put me in no box okay. i'm not i'm not that thing you say okay you're a revolutionary and you say don't put me in that box i'm telling you <laughs> these folks are entertainers some i love i love I, I love uh, all my children, but uh, some are revolutionary, some are not. I love my mama. She ain't a revolutionary. Okay? Don't get fooled by mm -hmm. I, 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 My mama revolutionary because I love my mama so much. Excuse my mama revolutionary. Me. She like the next Malcolm X. That's ridiculous. I don't, um, I don't know who Paul Smith is. So I would advise you to add Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Greco Roman, Greco -Roman. Wrestling, left way, Muay Thai to your self defense skills. I would advise you to add. <laughs> um, yeah, you can so. do that. You can do that. I have no need for any of any of that. Okay. Um, I have respect for all that you mentioned. Um, yes, uh, Greco Roman was straight taken from African wrestlers, by the way, uh, from Egyptian wrestlers. Egypt is Africa. Uh, that's why Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, there's a, a history to that that I'll discuss one day. A, all, all of that, left way, those are cool. Uh, left way is, I, I believe, that's also from Thailand or, 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 or Borneo or something. And uh, any of those use tools and Muay Thai, no, because they're all sports, so yeah, yeah. none of them use <laughs> tools. So you can, you can, you can, you know, do that for, for health and, yeah. and for coordination. But you can keep that, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, if you're going to do Muay Thai, Muay if you have access to Muay Baran, do it. That's where Muay Thai comes from, and they use tools. That's more like And they use all the strikes and everything that Muay Thai does, but they also use tools, swords, knives, shields, things of that nature, okay? Uh, I would also ask, I, I'm not sure why this person is making recommendations. How familiar are they with African martial arts. I don't know. But well, 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 he he. So obviously not very. Right. But because right. most people, their idea of African martial arts is capoeira. Right. They don't know what they're talking about. Okay. Because even so, even I'd say people who are out there claiming to be this, that, that in martial arts, a lot of them don't know what they're talking about. True. A lot of pe people who no, are they, taking they actors know. like they martial arts masters, they're actors. Right. Never let's not be so romantic, y'all, and let's be a little bit more re realistic. You got a famous instructor's never been in yeah. a, a real encounter, a real self defense, a real self protection situation with the tools that they actually teach people. To there say they there are people that are famous, include like the dust dude. We know we we be joking, and you know people showing themselves waking up in heaven doing this shit and all that, right? right. You recognize him? But there's some folks out here that. You have respect for that. I'll be like, this is some garbage. Okay. Um, and I only 
have ever said anything about twice when that shit is going viral and it's ridiculous and can get people really injured. Uh, one dude said, you can't get injured. How do you know you can get injured? Because I, I, I know how to injure folks. <laughs> and I know that this here is not going to get you right. safe from somebody like me who's trying to injure you. That's how I know. So we're not going to academize this shit. We're not buy my books, sure. And that book helped you. But train, y'all. That's it, man. Even this, train, this will help you, but train. Everything, Everything you, you see, it. work it. Test it. Talk, come back and say, hey, that shit didn't work. Right. And then let, let's see, because we believe in pressure testing everything we do. I'll be at home with me, me and me and um home with BD here and stuff. We, we think we figure out something. We get to class, but look, we made up. Okay, let's see if it works. Now all the instructors, I'm trying to do it. And then, okay, maybe I, maybe it don't work like I thought it did. A lot of these folks don't ever have that, so they just come up with stuff and make up a defense to a or, knife, and they think it worked because or, or the, the, the 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 like the the, uh, the the schools he mentioned, not schools, the styles he mentioned, the systems he mentioned. Those are Asian systems. Right. Asian That's systems right. are big eye little you. You right. don't get so the. One big thing about African martial arts across the board, it's family. It's so in, amongst the Europe, they say uh, the master blacksmith in one town is the student blacksmith in another. So you cannot be so arrogant because you know this one thing because somebody else is a master in another sphere that you may not be in, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't carry yourself arrogant. So there's no big I little U's in our class. When we salute, we all salute at the same level. It's not I salute a little bit, they salute big. <laughs> That's an Asian culture thing. That's not our culture. So since it's not our culture, they can come to me and say, hey, we just created this art, this, 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 this technique. And I won't be like, you don't create a technique without my damn permission. <laughs> That's okay, let's test it. Because if it's dope, it's dope. If it's dope and it works, it works. Okay? That's why I say if it's dope, not that it look good. I'm talking about it works. If it works, it works. You can train for one day and you say, okay, this. If it works, it works. I don't even have to ask, well, okay, where did that come from? We have Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu people come to our class and everything, right? And they do certain things. I say, oh, that's good. That's nice. I said, okay, but okay, against the tool, what happens? This, they, um, abba, abba, abba. and that's cool because that's not their wheelhouse. So now, if they're not arrogant, they learn. Right now, they can take that back. Most of them, though, because also with the culture of the thing, they don't teach the other folks. They yeah. use it on them. Right. <laughs> so they got an advantage. Yeah, that's funny. We don't. We don't. A, we don't do that. Because it's a sport. Right, it's and they ain't thinking about life and death. We Bingo. think about your life, so we want you to know this stuff. And that's the reality of it. So when people say y'all need to do this, first of all, that that's 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 coming disrespectful, even if you don't right. realize it, yeah. because you don't tell. I've been training for fifty years. You don't tell me I need to do shit. It's like somebody, oh, you, before you even try to be a revolution, you got to read this book right here. You can't. Right, I, like, well, come on, man. You've been doing. Why, why I got to read this? So, book? what you <laughs> should, if you say you might want to look into these go. systems, yeah, that's respectful. But yeah. you say you need to do. I don't need to do none of that shit. <laughs> that's. I have, I have. I have. I have. So I've been on the street and on the battlefield. I am still here. I'm still here. None That's of that shit harmed not how hard me and stuff. I got multiple knife cuts and shit on my hands, right? It was a stroke that almost took me out. <laughs> not years after. There, there's nothing on the battlefield or on the street, which is a battlefield sometimes, that has done that. So I am Chicago confident. Street. Chicago Street. Chicago yeah. <laughs> Street. West street? side of Chicago Street. I am confident, well, all over Chicago, actually. I am confident in what I am doing as far as that. Not saying I know everything. So you can suggest to me something. And like I said, I'm going to test it. If it works, I'm going to use it. That's why I said that. That's why we use Karambit now. Right. We pressure tested it, and that shit works. It's good. It doesn't just work. It works very well. 
with what we do, okay? Um, but somebody said, you know, uh, you need to throw in some copware Jenga and some so and so. I don't. <laughs> I don't, and I won't lie to you. So somebody feel good. Because I got a bunch of friends who do capoeira. His brother teaches capoeira, but I can't sit here and BS because by BS, I'm BSing you. And you'll mess around and you'll be trying to jinga and while defending yourself, and you're going to get your head busted to the white meat. You're going to go down with both hands to defend yourself so you can't use tools. Come on now. A friend of mine, we were doing a movie. And I show what you do to, to stop a copperware person. Okay. He said, I, I can't, I can't be in the movie because you just show the weakness of copperware. That comes from a copperware person. He said, I can't, I can't do it because copperware person is gonna be mad at me because you're showing the weakness of copperware. That's right. Yeah. So I didn't show it, I didn't show it, but I teach it. And like I just said, one thing I know they ain't gonna do. They ain't gonna pull no tool on me, but I'm gonna pull one on them. They're gonna kick, hands down, they're gonna kick, they're gonna expose the femoral artery, and I'm gonna tear it up. For my copyright friends watching, you know that. So you gotta adjust your strategy if you want to survive out here, man. I'm gonna be real with you. So we ain't gonna pontificate. We ain't going to just pull out books and say, well, in this book, it says so-and-so. Well, Show me. Well, Master So-and-so taught works. me. Yeah, well, Master So-and-so only spoke from what he knows. I can only speak from what I know. Show me. He said, well, whoo, it seems you know more than Master So-and-so. That's just the way the goddamn dice roll. <laughs> I got lucky to have the father that I have had. Well, still have, but He's not here in the physical, right? I got lucky. They got lucky. I, I told them, y'all lucky. Y'all found me. <laughs> I feel lucky. Absolutely. Y'all found me. Y'all lucky. And y'all lucky, yes. <laughs> and I'm lucky to be able to still be able to teach and deliver what I have. And hopefully, I'll see you on the right side of the battlefield if we ever have to fight for our lives. All right. Love y'all. Before we leave, and that's me, I gotta get off my soapbox. Before we leave, it is that time of the year where it's getting cold. If you're cleaning out your clothes, your your all your stuff, yes, we're all lucky, Dr. Ball. Don't exactly. take it out there to, to some homeless folks and give them some stuff, oh, give them some clothes and stuff like let, that. Let me say this too, and and we are exceedingly lucky, and we're also grateful uh to you, Dr. Ball, yes, to man. to uh Kalanji, to Kamal. We we mess with Kamal to Kamal <laughs> to Ear Doctor for allowing us to have a space on this platform to have warrior class. Thank you so yeah, much. Bro. Yeah, bro. We Thank applaud you. you. I love y'all. Stay black or whatever it is that you may be. Peace. Yes, yes, be yes. safe out there. Yes, yes. yes. Train. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Train be this. Be right during these holidays, man. Don't go for all that shit. No, nah, I'm saying we are lucky that you work with us. Thank you, and thanks to all three of you. Yeah, and, and I'm lucky to have them with me too. Believe that. If they don't know. All right, I think they do. All right, love y'all. I'm lucky to be able to talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, we allowed it. We allowed it today. All right, all right, y'all. Peace. <laughs>